Hi YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere, it's Mark with the Shave Stop and GeorgeTune.com and I'm back with a follow-up video on this guy right here, this military style shaving mug that I bought on eBay for a little over $10. It was like $9 and some odd cents and 99 cents to ship. So it was about $10 and I think a penny is what it uh, worked out to. And uh, someone commented about brush clanking and clanking when you're whipping up a ladder uh, on that. And that's what I'm going to address with this video. Now, in a previous video, I kept saying this was ceramic. I was confusing it. Um, I had this bowl on my mind right here because this is the bowl that I hope that this one will be replacing. This is ceramic. That's what I was thinking of at the time. This is high impact plastic. Now, the idea here is to use this versus this because if you drop this, it's going to shatter on your sink or on your floor. And if you're in your bare feet after your early morning shower getting your shave, well, that, that's not good. So that's why I'm thinking I want to use this more often than this. This is a good shaving bowl. I like it, but I don't like the fact that it's ceramic. Now, let's take a look at tail the tape and do a size comparison really quick. They are both about two and a half inches tall, which is six centimeters. This bowl here is an IKEA bowl. I bought this at a thrift store. I think it was like one or two dollars. You can get them at the, the IKEA store for I think three or four bucks. And this happens to be about five inches across or a little over 12 centimeters. And uh, this one here is about four inches across or 10 centimeters. So that's what size we're looking at. So we're losing about an inch um, here on the, the opening. And uh, the question is, is there going to be a lot of clanking and clanking and clanging when you whip up a ladder using this? Well, if you're careful, you won't. Uh, however, there is a bit of a trade-off, I think. You're probably going to get a little bit of clanking and cl clattering uh, with your brush, but you have to just tighten up those circles when you're agitating a lather, and you should be okay. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to show you that uh, making up a lather here with this mug. And I'm going to be using uh, the uh, Taylor of Old Bond Street, the Eaton College collection. And uh, I'm using this because I have a lot of it left over. I've been using my Vikings Blade uh, shave cream so much, I, just <laughs> I don't want to waste that on a demo right now. So we're going to use this. So I'm going to use this much right here. I don't know, I'm in size. I'm going to put that in there. Get this out of the way. And I'm going to, I'm going to come over here my Vikings Blade brush that I just really, really love. It's a badger brush. I'm going to just give it a good squeeze and a shake off camera here. And uh, I like this because it's got the weight is in the handle towards the, towards the rear here. So I can really get a good hold of it on my fingertips and keep control of it. X is a really good pivot point, pivot point to uh, work up and, and agitate uh, the, the lather, work up a lather. It really gives me a lot of control. So uh, here we go. Uh, I'm going to give myself a little more water here off camera. And we are going to go three, two, one, and let's see how this works. Work up a lather here. Yeah, not a lot of clattering or clanging here because the body actually is above the top lip of this mug here. So you're not going to get a little a lot of clattering or clanging. Now I'm adjusting the way I'm working the agitation up as well. So yeah, there's a little more there. And of course I'm doing this on camera which is a little more difficult than doing it without. Doing If I were standing straight up rather, it would be a little easier. Okay, so I'm about 40 seconds in, something like that. I need a little more water. It's a little dry. And coming up on another 10 seconds or so, it'll be one minute. Not a lot of clanging or clattering, really. I mean, it's I'm trying to keep it to a minimum, and I'm agitating it, and... I'm getting some really good agitation action here. So that's about a minute, a little more than a minute actually. But you can see I've got some nice lather here. A lot of it is on the brush. So we'll, yeah, 
we'll just kind of take this off here. You can see there's a lot there. Lot. There's a lot more here in the bowl. So there's there's a good three three pass shave in there, and uh, a lot on the brush. And uh, there you have it. So you have to you have to forgive me a little bit here because I'm doing it on camera and I'm bending over. If I were standing up straight and holding it with good posture, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, uh, you wouldn't get that much clanging and clattering. Even if you get a little bit, for me, it's a good trade-off because if I drop it, it's not going to break and shatter. And that's the whole idea here. Um, so far, I like it, and I think I'm going to continue to use it, uh, not only with the Vikings Blade brush, but a couple of other brushes I have as well. But I do, do really, really like this brush. I enjoy using it. It's very, very good. So that's it. That's the follow-up video for the Military Style Mug. Um, I'll get you the link for eBay. I'll look and see if it's up on Amazon. I'll provide a link for that if it is at the Shave Stop. And uh, you know what? Give it a try. It's, it's very good. Just try to get one with those dimensions. You don't want to get anything that's too tall because then you're going to have a lot of problem with clanging and clattering. About uh, two to two and a half inches or six centimeters in height would be a good height to make sure that your, your handle isn't going to be clanging. See, as you can see here, it's just above the lip here. And a lot of that clanging and clattering is because I might be mashing this a little bit, which you probably don't want to do. You want to twirl it and keep it going lightly. And again, doing it on camera is a little more difficult than just doing it when you're not uh, being filmed like that. And again, uh, I just want to center on the item and not me. So uh, that's it. I hope you, hope you enjoyed it. I hope that gave you a little more information. I like this high impact plastic. Again, I'm going to get to the eBay link and I'm going to investigate Amazon and see if they have similar items like this. Um, and I will get you the link for that and put it up on the shave stop if I can, if I can find one. So uh, thanks again. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. If you like the video, let me know and comment below. Thanks again.